of a parathyroid adenoma. The case. A patient with a left lower lobe parathyroid adenoma. He came to our department for jawbone and joint aches and pains, muscle weakness and fatigue. His neck ultrasound. Parathyroid hormone 223 picograms per ml. Serum calcium 12.6 milligrams per deciliter. After referral to endocrinologist, he was diagnosed with primary hyperparathyroidism. The decision was made for a parathyroidectomy. Initially a peripheral access line with a 16G catheter for blood sampling during the procedure is obtained and secured in the holding area. I start with a horizontal incision, 2 cm above the sternal notch, 3 cm long, slightly left to the midline. I raise the subplatysmal flaps. I find the left vascular sheath and I prepare the vagus nerve. I confirm that the NIM circuit is intact. Strap muscles midline dissection. I pass this number two automatic silk suture in order to pull medially the left lobe and to obtain access to the posterior surface of the lobe. When I find the adenoma under a little Zucker candle's lobe, the adenoma, inferior thyroid artery, identification and ligation, I dissect the didenoma for identification of the left inferior parathyroid gland, which remains behind. Left anterior parathyroid. Left anterior parathyroid. Recurrent laryngeal nerve. I confirm the RIN entry point. The specimen. The pathology report. Intraoperative blood sample. I have to wait for 20 minutes. In the meanwhile, I explore the right side and I identify two normal parathyroids. Superior right parathyroid. Inferior right parathyroid. Successful removal of hyperfunctioning parathyroid glands is indicated by a decrease in parathyroid levels above 50% within 20 minutes. At this point, I decide to end the operation. This video is for educational purposes only. Thank you for watching.